Hey, Shalom Israel, Shalom. And first and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Baha Hashem, Rikakwadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Citations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever you go. Shalom, brothers and sisters, Shalom. Yeah, this epistle is entitled uh, something like. Uh, Everything in due season. And I got this scripture brought up, brought up right here. So lucky I'm not able to bring it up to, so y'all can read it. I don't think I can. Let me see. Uh, I don't want to, you know, it's hard for me to read it. So I'm just, I'll do it this time, but maybe not throughout the whole epistle. It says Galatians chapter 6 verse 9. Uh, and let us not be weary in well-doing for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Right, in due season. So this epistle is based on, on, on seasons, you know, the Lord has appointed in his own time for things to happen. And it came about, um, I put this plant outside, you know, for a time. This plant is an inside house plant. But I put it by the, by the, by the, by the door, you know. And uh, I thought well, something was wrong with it. So I guess this is the anniversary of me getting this plant. Because when I first bought this plant, it looked exactly like it is now. It looked... Um, you know, like this, like, you know, healthy, green, it was pretty, you know, pretty and nice. And uh, throughout all the months, like I said, I've only, I guess I've only had it for a year, I'm not sure. You know, me and time, is, it's hard, you know. I'm not, you know, I don't, I don't keep track of things so well, you know, but through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Lord willing, I've been able to measure the time diligently, at least, you know, because everything in this world hey, is going to come to naught. So we're not worried about the shit this, of this world. But I did notice throughout the months. That's why. I, that's one of the reasons why I put the plant outside. You know, of course, every now and then we put the plants outside so they can get some direct sunlight almost. You know, not direct, but, you know, more than they would get inside. So we move around a little bit. But this particular plant, I moved it outside recently you know I moved it outside recently because uh, it had turned colors it had turned like uh, yellowish and all kind of crazy as colors bro it did and unbeknownst to me you know I haven't been in the states in a long time you know so I've forgotten you know when we we, we, I, we live in the Caribbean down here where the seasons does not change really it always it's like maybe goes down to 77 degrees maybe you know but other than that it's always nice it's always sunny it's always beautiful so us in seasons we it is a for us it's a very mild change we, we don't normally see certain things you know of course we got certain trees that might bloom and some some don't you know things like that but it's very mild. There's nothing like the states where the shit gets cold as fuck. You know, the, all the leaves fall off the trees and shit. And there's a dr it's dramatic. It's drastic. It's not like that down here. So when I saw, you know, that's why I were, once again going back to the to the you know title of this epistle, everything in due season. When I saw this tree, it had changed colors. It was like the leaves were like yellow and shit. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong? I, 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 bro, I'm, I'm serious. I, I didn't think. I, I wasn't thinking, you know, like, like this tree. <laughs> I, this, so this tree obeys the seasons, even though it's not in the cold, even though it's not in the states. It obeyed the seasons, bro. And that's the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shema Shai, you know. Everything is in due season. So even though this tree was not, this little indoor plant was not in the states it still took on the app, app, app should I say is it app, app, attributes it still did what it's supposed to do through the spirit and the power of your by Shema Shah, what it was commanded to do that how the Lord made it to be just like Esau is doing what he's supposed to do two thirds supposed to be doing what they're supposed to do and then the children of the Lord are doing what they're supposed to be doing by coming back to him in these last days right I just thought, you know, I wanted to make an epistle about it because it blew my mind when I finally realized what the fuck happened to my little plant. I put it outside. I'm like, oh, Lord, did I water it too much? I'm like, what the hell did I do? Did I do something? Did I make? Did I mess it up? And Because I thought it was dying. No, it was just going through its phases, bro. 
you know, spring, summer, spring, winter, and fall. All you got to do is call, you know. But anyway, because based on this plant, we're going to bring out this little short epistle, Lord, it's going to be edifying and exhorting. And I think I've talked enough to build it up. Let's get into it and bring it out, okay? Through the spirit and the power of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Hashem, Lord willing, it's going to be edifying and exhorting. We're going to go straight to. Uh, hold on, let's get this. Let's get this one more time, since we got it pulled up on the phone. Galatians chapter. Where we at? See, I can't even see it, man. That's why I don't want to do it like that. Galatians chapter six, verse nine. It says, "And let us." I can't. I, I still. I can't see it, bro. Can y'all see it? It says, and let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Right in that due season, when the Lord has appointed this time for all these things to happen. And it's happening right now, right before our very eyes. The Lord has commanded every man, everywhere, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians to repent, to believe his word, to return to him before the great and terrible day of the Lord, you know. Before all these calamities like hit home hardcore. Before Esau, the sword of the Lord, starts to cut down the two-thirds of the children of Israel, those that have not repented, those that have not believed in the one true living God, you know, that have not returned to the one true living God. Before this, you know, the trumpet is being blown, like we were speaking about last night at live camp. The, the warning is out. The, hey, it's a warning, bro. So now everything is in due season. First, you send out the little messages, the warnings. The please, hey, come back. Come back to the Lord. Don't forget now, you are the Lord's chosen people. You're the salt of the earth. Come back and start acting like that. And, and be doers of the word, not hearers only. We've been lied to, yes. But now our iniquity is at an end. You know, everything in due season. Now our punishment is over. Now it's time for us to return. Who's going to come back? Who's going to do it? Who will have the Lord reign over them? Who would rather have the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, be their God and not some damn cracker, the devil that the Bible speaks of? Because that's, the, that's, the, that's your options, to be of this world or the world to come. Okay, so let's go on and get into it. Uh, we're going to go to the scriptures in the book of uh, Ecclesiastes in the Bible, chapter 3, verse 1. And I think, uh, can we do it? I'm, I'm going to try to bring it up one more time. I don't, I don't like it because I can't see. I don't know. My eyes are, the sunlight is bright. The sun is moving and stuff. By the way, I have to, I have to let's finish this epistle quickly because things are happening to the, you know, to the setup here. Uh, let me see if I can bring it up though real quick. Uh, Ecclesiastes in the Bible, chapter 3, verse 1. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heavens. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up. A time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get, and a time to lose. A time to keep, and a time to cast away. A time to rend. And a time to sow, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time to of war, and a time of peace. You know, this is the these are the times that the Lord has set up. This is His world. He's the one that declared the end from the beginning. He's the one that set all this up. So there's a time for everything. You know, everything in its own due season, bro. Just like this tree that we see before us. There was a time for it to be beautiful like this. You know, it, it doesn't produce no flowers or nothing like that. But, like the moon, it is a season for it to be in perfection, to be super full, to be big and beautiful and bountiful. Just like this little tree that we see right up for us. It's a time for it, the, the, the leaves to be like it is brilliance. And so when it's not at that, that state, you're like looking at it like, what the fuck is wrong with your tree? You know, I was, I was, I was really, I didn't want to lose this tree, bro. I'm like, tree. That's why I put it outside again. So there's a time for everything under the sun, bro. And this is the time for the children of Israel, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians to come back, return to the Lord, and understand what, what, what time we're living in, bro. Measure the time diligently within itself, okay? Come on, let's go to the book of Daniel. 
And once again, I want to give thanks to you, how about Shemasha, for this epistle. Daniel chapter 2, verse 21. For allowing me to understand the, the changes of the season of this little plant here to bring out this epistle. This is the book of Daniel chapter 2, verse 21. Uh, it says, And he changeth the times. I don't know if I can do this, bro. I'm really, I know, I, I hope y'all can see it because I can't damn see it. I'm reading it off the sign of the camera. And he changes the time and the seasons. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. And that's what time we're also living in. This, this knowledge, this truth, this wisdom is being proclaimed on the four corners of the earth. This gospel is being preached. Allowing us to understand that we are the Lord's chosen people That we've been lied to When the hands of our enemies Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race The devil that the Bible speaks of The basis of man The caveman The servants These things that we understand now And he changes the times and the seasons The Lord changes the times and the seasons He removes his king So now it's time for Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race To be removed out of power and the kingdom of heaven to be established and set it up kings you know the, the Lord tells us that we are a nation of kings and priests to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai in the kingdom of heaven and he giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding and that's what time we're living in now that's why the scripture tells us to get wisdom get knowledge but with all that get and get understanding bro there's only one way let's go to the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 1 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 1 It says Let me see if I can get it Like I said yeah, Okay it says But of the time and the seasons And listen brothers When y'all watch this video When you watch this video pistol, if, if, the, if the words are unclear Or if you can't see them It's lucky man I'm, I'm really trying I, Like I said I can't see it When I put the phone in front of the camera I can't see I'm going to have to turn my head around to actually read it, okay? But I want it just in case, because you never know. Just because I can't see it, maybe you can be able to see it in post-production. Because of the sun and everything. It says, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. Right. We are, the truth has been declared right now. He was in the ear, let him hear. The 144 hopeful elect, we're going to be on one accord. You know, we're going to, you know, the Lord said, I'll be in you and you'll be in me. That's what's going on around here. This is the spirit and the will of the Lord. Something that's greater and bigger than us. It's not something that we learn in, in theology school or some bullshit like that. No, the Lord has call, actually called us out of darkness into this marvelous light. And that's how we know that it's real, bro. The Lord has said, I'm going to give you the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. You're going to understand the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. You're going to be gathered together by the word. You're going to know who, who serves the Lord and who serves him not, bro. This is very spiritual and very, a, very, a big blessing, bro. The Lord said there, there's no enchantment against Jacob. He said if, there, if it was possible, they deceive the very elect, but it's not possible. It's happening, brothers. This is the season. This is the time that these things are happening to us. Okay, it's happening, bro. First Thessalonians chapter five verse one. But of the times and of the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord, Yahweh Shemasha, so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, <laughs> then sudden destruction come upon them as a as a travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Right. That's look. Even that, that same, that's the script that we're reading right now, man, telling us that we're separate. We're made holy. We were talking about last night at the live camp. We're being made separate and we're being made holy. The scripture speaks about they're, gonna, they're not going to escape. Because this, this our temptation is going to come upon all the world to try them. But the Lord said, we're not in darkness. The Lord said, hey, I've already told you what the plan is, the master plan, the game plan. So we're going to be all on one accord. We have the mind of the Lord. We know about these things. That, you, you saw me just laughing about it. You know, yeah, that was a real genuine laugh. I was laughing. Just like the Lord said, I'm going to laugh at them. You know, Esau, when they try to fulfill their enterprise, they're not going to fulfill it. So we're laughing at them motherfucking devils right now. We're hoping and praying that they fucking 
Start the shit tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday. God damn it. Impl- implement that shit, nigga. The fuck you waiting on, Esau? God damn. Punk ass mother. Punk. But once again, it's all in the Lord's time. In due season, bro. We got to understand that and wait on the Lord. We got to have patience, okay? But the Lord said, in the time of the season, you have no need that are right into you. Because we've been speaking about these prophecies through the spirit of the power of Yahweh Shem Hashem. He with an ear, let him hear. Letting you know who, what's going on. Now we see, um, you know, we see the, 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 the haters. Now, I, wanna, I don't want to say haters. Let's say we see the scoffers, the mockers, the unbelievers coming up. You know. They're in darkness, bro. Instead of going with the program, instead of being on one accord with the word of the Lord, Yahweh, they're coming against the word at every turn. No, no, it don't mean that. It don't mean that. It don't mean that. Oh, this, this, no, these people are good. All people can be saved. You know, on and on, whatever they want to fucking say. But this truth right here is being revealed in the last days because it's the season for this to happen. Faith, truth shall be declared, bro. You know? So once again, let's start at uh, verse 4. But but ye brethren, can you see that, bro? Is it too close? Is it too far away? But ye brethren, oh no. It says, but ye brethren, verse 4, are not in darkness that that they should overtake ye as a thief. And the big brother elder just made an epistle about those nuclear warheads being shot over here. Talk, uh, speaking about, uh, I think his epistle was uh, entitled, uh, They Didn't See It Coming. Right, but we are not in darkness, bro. This is that season that the children of Israel are returning to the one true living God. And it's a total package when we when we're truly return and repent with our whole heart, okay? Let's go ahead and start closing it out, man. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, I want to go to 1 Peter. We're going to go ahead and knock it out. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 6. It says, uh, Hey, let's start at verse 1 and read now. Let's start at verse 2. It says, uh, the, it says, elect according to the foreknowledge of Yahweh Shemashah the Father. Beautiful. Exactly. Beautiful. And there's a season for this. And this is the season that we return and remember, and remember ourselves. It says, elect according to the foreknowledge of Yahweh Shemashah the Father through sanctification of the Spirit unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Yahweh Shai, grace unto you and peace be multiplied. It says, Blessed be the God, Yahweh Shemashah, the and Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, which according to His abundant mercy had begotten us again unto a lively hope by the re- resurrection of Yahweh Shai from the dead. Right? It says, To an, an inheritance according Salaki. Salaki, bro. To an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that fadeth not away reserved in heaven for you. Verse 5. Who are kept by the power of Yahweh Bashim Hashem through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time, right? That season. Wherefore ye greatly rejoice, right? Wherefore ye greatly rejoice. Though now for a season, right now we're going through it in this season. If need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptation, that the trial of your faith be much more precious than gold that perishes, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearance of Yahweh Shemashah. And that's what we're talking about, man. All these things are in due season. This, this is the time that we're going through it. Through much tribulation, we shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. We're going through that fire right now. Gold tried in the fire, bro. You know, the Lord has made these things happen in our lives. And they're also, you know, for us to believe even more. To understand even more. To hope even more. To trust even more, okay? Yeah. Yeah, bro. Everything's in this due season, bro. And all we have to do is hold on. Hold that fast what we have that no man take that crown, man. Just believe in this word of truth. Continue to be washed and clean and baptized with this word of truth through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, man. 
Okay, I'm gonna go get this uh, Matthew chapter 24 verse 13. It says, "But he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved." And the and the gospel. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Right, this gospel. And you see it happening right now. This is the time, this is the season for us to condemn this wicked ass world. For us ourselves to seek out our own salvation with fear and trembling, to repent, and also to compel the children of Israel to come in, to, con you know, tell them, hey, warn the children of Israel. Hey, tell them, hey, y'all better motherfucking repent, niggas. You Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, y'all better repent too. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 1, verse 1. It says, Blessed. I can't see it, man. I hope y'all can see it, bro. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of, scorn of the scornful, but his delight. But what? His delight is in the law of the Lord, Yahweh in his law, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. It says, He shall be like a planet, like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruits in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Right. Because this is the time to preach this word of truth. This is the time for the great awakening. The Lord said, I pray for not them alone, but for also them that shall believe on me through that word. Romans chapter 10 verse 10 speaks about how then shall they believe and how shall they hear without a preacher? How shall they preach except they be sent? This is that season for those prophets, those preachers. The Lord sent forth us, the apostles, last to bring out this word of truth. This is that time, bro, just like this little tree. This tree that you see before you. Had that time of, of, of a yellow ass leaves. look like he's about to damn die. I'm like what the fuck wrong with this tree? But there was a season for this tree. And now it's back in its fullness. Just like the Lord's going to bring us back. So blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Psalm chapter 1 verse 1. Nor sitteth in the way of sinners. Nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. And that's all the shit that Esau has proclaimed on the earth that's all the things that Esau in his wicked ass world try to get you to do the anti-messiah spirit you know to not believe this word of truth to go against the gospel you know of peace to think something different to not believe in the one true living God not believe in the word that's written down telling you that the Lord is going to come back in due season and take this down, this wicked ass kingdom down. And the kingdom of heaven is about to be established, bro. This is actual fact that's happening right before your very eyes, bro. He with an ear, let him hear, man. So, I want to grab that Galatians chapter 6. Where's the other phone at? Galatians, I'm going to read this real, real quick. Because we still got it up here. Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. It says, so hey, let us... I can't even see it on the thing. Let us not... See, look, I can't see it, bro. It's look blurry to me. It says, let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall, be, we shall reap if we faint not. That's right. You want to hold on to this truth? The scripture speaks about we're going to reap if we faint not. Hold, in, hold that fast which thou have that no man take that crown. He that endure to the end, the shame, same shall be saved, bro. Okay? And we're going to end it off with Matthew chapter 24, verse 32. And the water once again for this epistle. It says, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and read it, man. I'm not going to jump up. I wanted to, I wanted to, so bad to jump up, but I'm going to read it, what it says right here. In the book of Matthew chapter 24, verse 32. And y'all can see, if you want to go, get your Bible and read uh, Matthew 24, uh, 30 and on down. But we're going to start at 32. Now learn the parable of the fig tree. When the branches is yet tender and put it forth leaves, you know that summer is nigh. Okay? Yeah. Hey. Just like we're talking about this this plant right here. Look. All that time, you know, spring, they were yellow and shit and I thought it was going to die. But now, 
like if this was a fruit plant if it was a fruit tree just like the mango trees around here they're giving off fruit now the fruit is falling off the off the, off the falling to the ground bro it's time to, to to pull up those those plants off those those fruits just like now this gospel has been preached this is that due season this is that time that all these things are going to take place lord willing this is that hopeful year elder apostle tahar from great millstone all praises to Yahweh Shema Shah through the Spirit and the power of Yahweh and Shema Shah. Deem this year the hopeful year that all these prophecies shall be, shall come to pass, you know. So likewise, Matthew 24 verse 33. So likewise, ye, when ye shall see all these things, ye know that it is near. Even at the door, bro. Okay. It goes on to say, verily I say unto you that this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Right. Because we're looking for new heavens and new earth where a dwell of righteousness. So Esau's kingdom is about to pass away, and the kingdom of heaven is about to be established, bro. So with that, Lord willing, this was edifying and exhorting, man. All things in due season. I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rikah, Kodash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the one-third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever he goes. Shalom, Israel. Shalom, brothers and sisters, y'all.